In this video, I'm going to show you how to back up a single eyes node deployment by using the graphical user interface. And the best of it will be using eyes version 3.3. .3. That's the latest at the time of this recording. Now, why you might want to learn this skill and well, there are different reasons for that, but let's just highlight two of them. In case you are studying for Cisco I certification, that's going to help you a lot because you'll be able to see me doing, you'll understand the process and you'll be able to replicate on your lab as well. Because you all have a lab, right? I hope so. Okay, the second reason is that it is actually recommended to have a copy of your configuration. You can have it either inside of the equipment or outside of the equipment at a remote server, TFTP server, SCP server, anything server that we can store the configuration there. And we're going to see how to do it in this video as well. So enough talking, let's just get right into it. Okay, this is IS 3.3 main dashboard and i'm running this in dark mode as you can see it's just pretty uh but let's get right into it so to back up the file we should go to administration backup and restore and here we have two files that we have to back up we have the configuration data backup and this relates to settings that affect the system and the operational data backup this relates to monitoring and troubleshooting files okay or logs now if we try to back up for instance the configuration data backup file and we press on backup now and let's say just name and if we click the repository name it's empty well because first we have to create this repository that eyes will use to store these backups okay so we have to cancel this and we have to go to maintenance and repository here we can create the repository now if we click on add let's provide a name for instance repo and then we have to choose the protocol and the protocol is just okay which option we're going to use to create this repository is going to be either disk means it's going to be stored inside eyes itself or we're going to use an FTP, SFTP, TFTP, NFS, CD-ROM, HTTP, HTTPS, and whatever protocol they decide to add in the next version. So there are plenty of options. Now we're going to make this simple and I'm going to show you how to use two options, disk and FTP. So first let's create disk and we're going to name this as disk ripple and the path I'm just going to use the slice to means okay this is going to be in root and we're going to submit i'm going to create another one so add and uh, let's name this as ftp ripple and we're going to choose the protocol to be ftp and the server name now this has to be an ip address or the fully qualified domain name of the server now what is a server a server can be in a remote location where we have FTP servers or server running. It can be either Windows, Mac, Linux, just anything that accepts uh, FTP uh, connection. Now I have this uh, FTP already installed on this host. So it is acting as my FTP server. Now the server name in this case, I'm just going to use the IP. So it's going to be 434. The path, I'm just going to say, this is going to be a root path. And the credentials, well, this has to be a user that exists in FTP server. So in this case, I'm going to use Silesio and a very good password. And we're going to submit this, okay? So now we have two repositories, okay? One where we're going to store things inside the eyes and the other one, that's our remote server. Okay, so now let's go back to backup and restore and we're going to choose one of the options so configuration data backup this is going to be a larger file so first i'm going to backup using ice itself so let's name this uh, backup name so it's going to be a uh, configuration data backup and we're going to use disco disk ripple and encryption key so this has to be um 
somewhat complex key, so I have mine already here. I'm just going to paste this and back up. Okay, now this is a large file, so it might take a couple of minutes. So around, depending on your size, on your eyes deployment, so around five to 10 or more minutes. Okay, configuration data backup is completed. So it means that it is stored inside eyes. So let's log into eyes. So that should be admin 192.168.43.200. Yes. And the password. Okay, so let's check for it. And we can see this is our file configuration data backup. And so what is this? 138, so that should be kilo, probably around mega. Anyway, so now we have to copy this file outside of ICE to our FTP server. And how do we do that? So I already have my application here. I'm using FileZilla so that we can receive files using FTP. So I'm just going to start copying by using the command copy and then I'm going to say, okay, disk. So this is where I'm taking the file from and I'm going to copy this name here. Okay. And I want to send to my FTP server and that's stored at 43.4. Okay. So before I send, I have my folder, my root folder in my FTP server. So I created this directory TFTP. I can name it anything I want, but I'm just uh, using TFTP. As you can see, it's empty. So now we're going to send to that directory. I'm going to press enter. So I have to provide the username. So that's going to be uh, Telezio and the password. That's going to be a very secret password. And it's done. Let's go back to our folder. Yeah, as you can see, we have the file. So we were able to copy uh, the backup from ICE to our FTP server. Now let's do the same, but in this time, we're not going to use the disco repo. We're just going to use directly the FTP repo. Okay, so let's go back to ICE and we're going to choose now the operational data backup and we want to backup. So write the name to be, uh, it's going to be operational data backup. We're going to use the FTP and I'm going to grab my uh, encryption key, paste and backup. So this is going to be a smaller file, so it shouldn't take that long to complete. So first it will try to connect to the FTP server and because I'm using Windows, you actually have to disable the firewall so that it can accept the connections coming from remote uh, clients. Okay, and it looks like it's completed as well. So it didn't took longer, so actually two minutes or so. Uh, and we can see that we have our file here, operational data backup. But if we check on eyes, we don't have the operational data backup. So that's how you perform backup on Cisco Eyes using the graphical user interface. So I hope you found this video useful and I hope to see you on the next one.